You don't need to hear what the devil can do. Calvary have settled the devil. He have removed his power. All that I need is this. God has given him a name that is above every name. That are the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow. Tonight, I want you to say, Lord, many of us are too familiar with the world that the world is not delivering anything to us. Open my eyes. Let me see something that will change my life and transform my life. Something that will give me a testimony tonight. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. Lord, I pray that you will open our eyes tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. Last Wednesday, we started with a series. It appears that these days is series. And I call it the superior life. If there is any message you, you hear in your life as a believer, is this message, this series, the superior life? I remember I started last time. Um, Wednesday with the words of Paul to the Corinthian Christians the Paul said now ye are full now ye are rich and ye have reigned as kings without us and I remember I said that is what formed the, my philosophy of Christian dominion. I've loved that over the years. Because I've come to the understanding that If you cannot fight the battle of life 
on a personal ground then there is no victory you have not got victory if your life is depending on somebody else for victory if your life is depending on a prophet if your life hangs on anointed man of God that some will travel say I'm going to see my prophet some even travel from United Kingdom to see a prophet on the mountain they could receive a miracle I am not denying that there could be a testimony after their prayers after their prophecies but that is not the best and so that's why we have been talking on every Wednesday on things you need to know to equip yourself and I remember I've told you before that the key to the Bible is in John chapter 8 verse 32 Jesus said ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free that the instrument of freedom I mean genuine freedom total freedom is knowing the truth and I've told you the truth to know one, the truth about God you must know the truth about God his omnipotency that is all powerful the great and the mighty God you must have the knowledge of God that God is great greater than anything greater than all things greater than the greatest that there is nothing he cannot do with God all things are possible once have I spoken twice have I heard that all powers belong it unto God so that's the first truth to know but every dick and Harry has a faint knowledge about that that God is great Almost every religion agree that God is great. Even the atheists, they believe that there is a supreme God somewhere else, greater than man. Number two truth is the truth about Satan. It's not enough to know the, to know the truth about God that God is great. If you don't know the truth about Satan, he will take advantage over you because we are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 he said let Satan have an, or take an advantage over us for we are not ignorant of his devices so therefore you must know the truth about Satan and what is the truth about Satan if the truth about Satan is what the Bible says about Satan not what people feel about Satan not what people say about Satan 
not the story you have read about Satan. So it's a truth to know. And what has the Bible said about Satan? The summary is that he has lost his power. That's the summary. He lost it to Calvary. That is summary of the truth about Satan. They say it in Yoruba. They say Satan has power, but he has no salvation. Have you, have you ever heard that before? You have heard. On your lag barrage, you won't go bala. But my Bible says that Jesus partook in the same flesh and blood. That's Hebrew chapter 2, verse 14. He partook in the same flesh and blood that through death he might destroy him that has power over death. That is the devil. So, he became flesh. You must know the trouble of Satan. He is not almighty. Even when he was still in power, he was not almighty. He was a created being. According to the book of Ezekiel. He said, in the day when thou art created, you are anointed cherub that cover it. Until iniquity was found in you. So, but whatever any power he was given, when Jesus went to the cross of Calvary, Jesus destroyed all the power. So that's why Jesus, after resurrection, he came to announce to us and say, all power, both in heaven and on earth. He was not talking about the power of his omnipotency as God. He was talking about the power that Satan usurped. That I have conquered all power both in heaven and on earth have been given unto me. So that's number two truth. For you to say that Satan is attacking me, they are all product of ignorance. Don't join the devil to break scriptures. For you to say that they attack me, they are just product of what? Ignorance. With what power again? I don't know. You gave him the power. You gave him the power. Because the one he has, he lost it on Calvary. And so, you must know the truth of Satan. That Satan does not have power over any child of God. If you don't break the hedge and go into sin and play to the hands of the devil, there is no Satan. Let them gather and slaughter their firstborn. If you know about it and you go and pray, it's because you are still ignorant of what we are talking about. So you must know the truth. So when Jesus said you shall know the truth, number one, the truth about God. Number two, the truth about Satan. If I begin to talk about that, I won't go to the message of today. I will not go there. But these are the revelations that we have that make us to ignore the devil. That's the best way to treat the devil. It can make some people to run to the mountain for seven day fast. But to some of us that no revelation, that doesn't come to our prayer line. We ignore him. On the platform of knowledge, if you carelessly ignore him, he will attack you. But when you are aware of what Jesus has done for you and you stand on that truth, you can ignore the devil. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Number three truth 
It's not because I'm not hearing you. It's full of mono. Reduce that and give us a little buzz. Sorry for breaking transmission. Is somebody hearing me? I say, is somebody hearing me? Number three truth you are to know is the truth about whom you are in Christ. Please stop writing and look at me. I'm not. It's not about. Right. I've not even started today's message. I'm just telling you the reason why you must pay attention to these things. Thank God you are in the same church. If it is miracles, I don't need to preach. If it is miracles, if it is prayer, I can lead prayer. We have great men of God among us that can lead prayer. Wow. Is somebody hearing me? I'm simply telling you that if you sit down with the truth, you are okay. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall do what? Make you free. That was the only instrument, that is the only instrument that Jesus presents to you. And I've told you the truth to no one about God. To Satan. And the last one is the real one you are to sit down with. That is the truth about yourself. Who am I? The truth about your position in Christ. If God open your eyes to know this, I'm telling you. And that's what we have been spending all the time to examine. The truth about God, everybody knows about that God is great, God is powerful, God is mighty, God can do all things. About Satan, well, an afraid people. But not every no, everybody knows whom he is. In Christ. And until you know there is no deliverance. Until you know there is no liberty. And so this is one of the reasons why we have been looking at some of the things we have been examining for some time. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. That's why we, we have been examining the superior life. That is why in Matthew chapter 15 verse 26 the Bible says Jesus told the woman That woman that was crying and said, Jesus, heal my daughter. Jesus said, these things is the children bread. Children what? Is the children bread? Very briefly tonight, we are looking. Therefore, by what I've explained to you, it means that the more you discover yourself in Christ, the more victorious the more I discover myself. Everybody? I want to know those who are with me. Talk to me very well. 
the more victorious I am. Now, so that's why we have been looking at you and the life that is expected of you. A superior life. I quoted for you last uh, week in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 that the just shall live by his own faith. And I said the superior life is the life of the operation of faith. The superior life, everybody, is a life that operates by faith. Simply put, if you cannot live by faith, walk with God by faith, you cannot have the superior life. us back to the same thing. Which thing is that I have to develop my faith. What is that thing? I have talk to me. I don't know those of us who are prayer warriors here. Intercessor. When you are praying and you want to attack the devil you want to attack satan don't forget to attack him on this area one of the ministry of the devil is to attack your faith because there is nothing you can do without faith that's exactly what is happening so so many people the devil know when you have faith, you will be free from him. What is a superior life? It's a life that makes a difference. It's a life what? That will make a difference. That's a superior life. A difference between believer and a believer. It made a difference. Why should one be sick and the sickness defied an answer and the other one remain on sick? under the same condition is the kind of life I'm talking to believers now that they operate in God so a superior life is what makes the difference it's all about different and I have taught it under various subjects there was a time I was talking about the royal seed that's a superior life the life of a royal seed is a superior life that made the difference between Two people, two believers. And what made the difference? One is operated by the law of faith, and the other one is operated by the law of sight. The difference will be there on every areas of life. Superior life. That's what made the difference. So it made the difference between two believers, two Christians. It can make it between husband and wife. That's the superior life. What is a superior life? A superior life is a life that thrives. Where others, other people cannot survive. A superior life is a life that thrives. 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 T R I. Thrive. Something that survives. Where others falter and fail. That's a superior life. 
everybody is having the problem. But somebody, I mean every believer, the problem is common to everybody. He just distinguish himself. That's a superior life. He will tell everybody, you can have it, but I cannot have it. That's a superior life. Everybody in the family is catching Apollo. And they are looking for some glass. They will tell them, as for me, I am a royal seed. That's a superior life. A superior life is a life that what affects others cannot affect him. When there's an outbreak of disease, it will suppress the immunity of others. But a man of a superior life will never bow. When the parasite touches his blood, he dies. That's a superior, a superior life. And so until you are operating on this life, this kind of life, then don't boast. Don't say, I know doctrine. What is the superior life? A superior life is a life of total immunity that is totally immune to common problems of life. No, we are not saying the problem is not there. It's there. The challenges are real. The afflictions are real. Everybody is catching it. Everybody is having a problem. But a man with superior life remains untouchable. Remains unconquerable. That's a superior life. It's a moon. He put up an immunity. That thing will not affect him. Not just by sheer luck no he deliberately disallow it to affect him that's a superior life and that's why the word of faith will inoculate your body the word of faith we inoculate look here that's why satan doesn't want amen is somebody hearing you the devil that will kill me will try Because sometimes we can be very weak and we'll not be able to pray. You know, we are getting older now. If we travel, travel, and travel, and travel, we can become so weak. But <laughs> the world that have eaten, that have become flesh, can never be tired. These are spiritual inoculation that give you spiritual immunity. So, if anything touches you, that thing die. If you touch anybody, it's two way attack. The person die. But if you don't have it, uh huh. Any little time, hey, pastor, come on, come, come, uh, brother, so and so. You, it's good to be inside this thing. Wow. Shout hallelujah. So. The superior life I'm talking about is a life that is totally immune to common problems of life, to common challenges of life. We are great men of God, fair, you will go there and nothing will happen. They will tell everyone, nobody goes through this place. So, and if they go, they can be attacked. <laughs> but you have eaten something. Otigben come me. One simbi. Otigben come me. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Many of these politicians have swallowed some juju some devil and they cover it with babariga but 
as a child of God that you have exposed yourself to, the, to revelations of scriptures. We have been, thank God, I learned that people have been visiting the place for free hearing. My phone, if I show you what I download there, just to keep on hearing, to be loaded, to be filled. That's, 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 that's Christianity. It's not about what you do. It's about the quality of what you swallow. Your makeup. What makes you up? It's about what flows into you. So it's not about the devil that is fighting you. It's not about those who are in your father's family. It's not about the enemy you have here and there. They are not conditioned. It's about what enters into you. That determine. Jesus said. Jesus said. If thou canst believe. If thou canst believe. Then he said in another place. He said. According to what? Your faith. According to what? So that's what determines. That's what determines what happens. What is um, a superior life? A superior life is a life that cannot be handled by any force from hell. A life that cannot be handled. A life that cannot be handled by any wicked devil. What is a spiritual life? Um, a superior life? A superior life is a life of total dominion. Total what? Dominion. What is a, 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 a superior life? A superior life is a life that puts you in charge. That is serious. A life that puts you in charge. I love that. <laughs> I love that. You become director. Director of what? Everything. You are in charge. That's a superior life. He put you in charge. When you are in charge, you can determine what happens. You can dictate the tune. You can tell the devil his boundary. You can stop any affliction. So, the superior life put you in charge of everything. He put you in command. You are in command. You are in charge. You become the commander-in-chief of all forces, whether on earth or in heaven. You become what? Commander in chief. You become what? Commander in chief. I, I, I remember Paul. He was ministering to a man. Then come uh, another child of the devil. Trying to disturb. He said, you child of the devil. I command you not to see for a season. The same anointing that opened the blind's eyes is the same anointing that closes the eyes and make a sane man to become blind, blind. And do you know what happened? Because he was in charge. 
he didn't go for a night VG before he no he was in charge he understood the authority vested in him by the revelation we are sharing and he just told him you are not seen and he was not seen shout hallelujah when we were younger we did it many times and it come to pass finally what is a superior life is a supernatural life a superior life is what a supernatural life a superior life is a supernatural life what is a supernatural life the life that is beyond natural life that every day of your life becomes a day of miracle I remember there was a time I was keeping diary for daily testimony there must be testimony in each day why because when you are born again you are born to become supernatural until you realize that you will not know whom you are every child of God is born again to become a supernatural being that is what made the difference between you and the unbelievers an unbeliever is dead the spirit is dead but you have been quickened so you are a supernatural being you are not to do things in the natural form you are to do it in a supernatural form in every area every issue that come across you you should be expecting a miracle to happen Amen. So if you know that, that as you are going, as you are moving, you are not a natural human being. Now, do you know a witch? Look up here. I'm a real witch. Oh. Not the one that are hiding in church and they cannot disclose whom you they are. They are not, uh, they are cowards. If a witch here and we don't know you, you are a coward witch. Real witch declare himself or herself, I am a witch. And everybody in the village will know that Mama Witch is coming. But do you know that <laughs> these uh, witch, they know they are, and so they are conscious of whom they are. A man of God recently gave us testimony in our retreat of a young girl who was um, she was a witch or whatever she also killed a witch so a witch can kill a witch and the witch he killed was a grandma but now she has gotten promotion more than grandma grandma did something to her he said me he said in the night Grandma went to her own meeting. She also went to her own meeting. She got to the meeting and reported Grandma. Hey, what? You did that one to Olori. That's my girl that be, I become Olori. She died for it. Now, these people, they are conscious that they are not ordinary. They, they, they said, the same lady, when she was confessing, she said that um, a vehicle was going by the road and splashed mares on her. Oh, Tabata Silara. Ah! So in the night, she carried the matter to her coven. They said, Oh, Lori, somebody smart splashed something to you. We want to watch. They now brought the clock of time. They rewind the incident. Just as you rewind video, they now, to that particular time, they now watch how the man sped and splashed those things on her. They say, Ha, ah, to Lori. They now carry a judgment and condemn the man to death. They say, Okay, the same vehicle you use 
to splash mere on our olori. Let that same uh, car kill you. And the man died of accident by that vehicle the second day. I'm not here to tell you what the devil can do. He can't do that to a royal seed. You go to your meeting and talk, you die. Is somebody hearing me? These are Jesus-less people. No Jesus. And if they are Christians, they can't kill you, but they can torment you. But if a royal seed, they cannot do it. They will even when if it is possible for them to recall and rewind, and they see the man inside the car. Shout hallelujah. And it's the one, one of the people with superior life. Say, ah. And it toto bell, oh Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Put all together for Jesus Christ. I go to the second part of my message, which is the main one. Uh, Usher, sit down. Sit down there. Come. Be hearing the word of God. Don't worry. Anyone that wants to sleep, let him sleep. Sleep well. When you read Obisha, I say, sleep well, sleep well in the heart of your, in the bosom of your. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. The point is that if the superior life, what makes it superior is the operation of the law of faith, if that is true, is somebody hearing me? Oh! If that is the real, what made the difference that make you to possess a superior life, the law of faith, just merely say that somebody is operating on this kind of law and the other one is not operating, that made this difference, then wisdom demands for you and for me to develop our faith. So that's why I want to talk about this second aspect about possessing the faith for a superior life. How do you possess the faith for a superior life? Listen, faith is not a magic. Faith is a spiritual dynamics that the word of God imparts. That is why faith is not what you have naturally. Faith is acquired. Faith is acquired. Can I hear you now? Say it very well. Just like you go to school and you acquire a degree in economics. Just like you go to school and you acquire a degree in physics. Or medicine. Faith can be acquired. We are told in Romans chapter 10. Let's look at Bible so that we don't just be reading offhand. Chapter 10, verse 17. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Are you there now? Can somebody read for me, everybody now? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comet. Faith is acquired. Listen, I've told you that Africa as a nation, I mean as a continent, 
we are lazy mentally lazy mentally somebody said if you want to hide something from a black man and a black woman like yourself put it inside a book don't go and bury it on the ground a black man will go there he know how to heap but you want to hide it put it inside where a book every other spiritual exercises they are very easy for people to do uh, you see that in church today what are they against they are not against the dancing no the time of the praise worship is an exciting time they are not against the time of the praise worship they are not against the time of uh, every other thing there are churches that every sunday there will be drama playlets everybody will be excited we will be loving but let's say turn said the lord open your bible go to this you'll see people sleeping you'll see people restless if not because in our culture here we don't allow you to stand up anyhow people will line up at the toilet even those who didn't want to urinate they will land up there this bad blood may god remove it from us Come and see where God has hidden faith. If it's your Lord, don't feel that God He said, Faith cometh by hearing. Period. By what? Talk to me now. Hearing. Now, that is where your deliverance is. After every time we preach, go there. They have been telling me the bill that I'm going to pay now to subsidize you know i say i declare free then i reduce some and this thing is costly i say no no problem i will pay i want it to be a hearer faith comment by what hearing and hearing what even if a pastor will have faith faith comment by hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. If a member of the choir will have faith, he didn't say faith cometh by singing. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. What are the things that give us trouble? High blood prayer, hypertension. They are the things that we are fed with. When I heard this news, my blood prayer began to rise. Yes. Because the mind, we are the word of God supposed to feel, is empty. So another thing have time to enter there. Some people they agree with fear. Any little thing they are afraid. Why should fear come? Because the heart is empty. Faith come by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. That's how to acquire it. It's not just the one hour we preach in church. You get home, you are, you are hearing. You're on your bed, you are hearing. Even sometimes you hear until you sleep with it. You will see that your dream will change. All the oppression will not occur again. Because you have, you have, something is flowing into your spirit. Power of faith is flowing into your life. You keep on hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. So immediately your language begins to change. Daddy, it has finished. You will not use that language again. Finish what? Nothing finished in my house. Soap cannot finish. Rice cannot finish. Beans cannot finish. All of them cannot finish. I think uh, our men are receiving their deliverance today. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is how to possess faith to have a superior life but let me just say that look at it again Romans 10 verse 17 so then faith commit by hearing 
and hearing by the word of God. So, the word of God is a manufacturer of faith. Go back to verse um, 8. Look at verse 8. But what said it? The word is mighty, even in thy mouth, and where in thy heart. That is the word of what? The word of faith. Which we preach. Ah, there is a revelation here. Look up here. Look up here. Look up here. Paul said, Even the word, word of faith, <laughs> the word is mighty. He said, In thy mouth and in thy heart, the word of faith. So, what makes you a royal seed, what makes you to have a superior life, is not just the word. It is the word of faith. Word of what? The Paul said the word of faith that we preach. You are not hearing me. The word of faith that what? Oh. The word of faith that what? That we preach. Until the gospel is preached, the gospel cannot be assessed. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14 he said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout the whole world the gospel shall be preached if the gospel is not preached it doesn't benefit anybody so that is why every time we must preach the gospel I'm preaching it to you now but with gospel there are diversity of gospels but it's the same process. The gospel of salvation must be preached. If it is not preached, there is no way anybody can be saved. The gospel of healing must be preached. Now, look up here. There are members of the church that have blood prayer now. They are at home. He say, I'm sick, I can't come. Who will help you? I don't know it. Until you listen to the gospel preached, you are, there's no way you can benefit. When people are sick, they manage themselves. Even sometimes when they cannot walk, they ask people to bundle them into a taxi to the hospital. That's okay. You see, anytime there is any little crisis, he said, they rush him to the hospital. Why not the church become spiritual hospital? That when you are down, when you are, I mean, <laughs> and say, today is Wednesday, I'm going. I know by the time I'm through, the devil will get out. Why not? The gospel was preached. If it is not preached, it is no longer the gospel. So, you must know everything about the gospel of healing if you want to enjoy divine health. You must have the understanding how it works before sickness will leave you. The gospel of wealth must also be preached. Otherwise, prayer will not respond to demolish poverty. The gospel will be ordained to be preached. Those who specialize in prosperity preaching is working for them. We are not against it. Only that they are bad on other areas of the gospel. But in our circle, we don't want to hear. Only oh God do it. He will not do it. Because God has ordained that the gospel must be preached. And you must understand, then take a step of faith over the gospel. It is then it can work for you. You may not realize what you are doing now. 
The day that you will go to your trail and bring out hey, hey, to attack the devil, it will surprise you. Because the devil we we call, we call back one day. No prayer can stop that. After Jesus has encountered Satan, three temptations. And the Bible said he left him for a season for a while. He came back again. He came to Peter. He said, You will not die. How will you die? And Jesus said, Peter, get behind me, O Satan. When they were to condemn him to death, he came through Pilate. He said, Don't you know I can I can release you? Satan wanted him to be released. He said, No. And so, but at that time, when nothing will help you, when nobody can help you, in your trail, you go there and bring the word of faith. He said, The word is ninety in thy mouth and in thy heart. The word of faith that we preach, the word is ninety in thy mouth. But if it is not in thy heart, it cannot be in thy mouth. Because in Matthew chapter 12, verse 36, the Bible says, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. You cannot say what is not inside your heart. It's out of the overflow of your heart that the mouth speak. And so, for the word of faith to be in your mouth, it must have been in your heart. Is somebody hearing me tonight? Are you hearing me? So it come back to the same thing. The faith comes into your heart by hearing, 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 hearing the word of faith. Let me challenge you here. If you gather tapes on faith and other areas and you go for three days night vigil, you decided not to pray. Just sit down with it and be hearing. I'm telling you the devil will clear away from you devil will leave you alone he will get out because by the time you speak a single form that word will be anointed and the devil will run away many of us even from our content we are sad my market is not moving they are all products of unbelief product that there is nothing in the mouth nothing in the heart you know within two weeks or three weeks now that we are talking there are some testimony that can be tearing our ears that i've been hearing it. i'm happy now it's not that and pastor called me uh, and pray for me that's okay but it's better when the child has given up the ghost, I said, no way. My child cannot die. <laughs> without pastor, without anybody. And you grab the child. And the name of Jesus, without boldness. Instead of put your hand on your head and begin to cry. And it jumped back to life. What a testimony. What a powerful testimony. In the night you rise again, the devil and say, not in this family. You cannot touch any of my children. You are not here. Just because he has suspected that your husband is not at home. That is not an issue. My husband is not there, but I'm here. I'm here. And the devil with shame just disappear like that. What a testimony. That's what you want. That's what we are saying. And so, we begin to see the word of faith come faith coming by hearing 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 the point is this look up here man as I stand as you are sitting down you have two entities how many entities? You are a spirit.
you have a soul. You dwell in a body. But your spirit and your soul they constitute the inner man. So, there is a man inside this body. Inside me, there is a man. With the same shape. With the same height. It's a spiritual body. So, the spirit is not just a gas. No. It's also, is the real man that has the shape. But, the body is the house. So, who determines about the direction of your life is the man inside. That's what I come again. Is somebody hearing me? I used to tell people, this, ah, this brother, he's sick, he did that, uh, he has been in this sickness. Now, is the man inside that is sick? If the man inside is not sick, the man outside cannot, cannot be sick. Every problem we have is the man inside so if you want solution direct an answer and solution to the man inside that's why sometimes somebody come with a problem i want to have time for him so that i can address share the scripture when i see right gents of faith I, no devil can stop that miracle is somebody hearing me? When I see the radiant, the faith shown, maybe I'll be way down. It could even be cancer. It doesn't matter. When the man inside receive that miracle, we just say, be healed. Cancer will die. But if the man inside is fearful, have no faith, is oppressed, and uh, is cast down, let me just show you an example. You can read it for yourself in Acts chapter 14 from verse 8. The Bible says at Lystra. Look at it. At. Let's close with that. Acts chapter 14. From verse 8. And there sat a certain man at Lystra. He potent in his feet. Being a cripple from his mother's womb. Who never had worked. What a terrible problem. He potent. Crippled from birth. So, this one is not a stroke. It's not just mere paralysis. Crippled from birth. He was born like that. A deformed person. To show you the power of faith that come through the power of hearing. Somebody said, when somebody is crippled, the inner man also is crippled. The man inside of him is also crippled. But when the word of faith is coming, when the inner man is healed, the outer man also will be what? Healed. But if the inner man remains crippled, there is no amount of prayer. Look at this example here. The Bible says, verse 9 now, the same heart. It was a heart. Is somebody hearing me say heart? The same heart Paul speak. Who steadfastly beholding him and perceived that he had what? Faith to be healed. <laughs> Look up here. Many years ago. A woman came on Wednesday like this. She was sitting here. For seven years, she had been looking for the fruit of the womb. She has got maybe a child before. They have gone to Montegol everywhere. He just follow our 
one of our brethren at that time to the church for the first time he has that she has her own church she has never had but i discovered that day is she's as if she should swallow me i'll just cheer it we were not even plenty like this that day she became pregnant the work can impregnate you and dissolve any kind of problem this man had paul speak as paul was looking how did paul know he saw the radiance in his face that he perceived this one has faith to be healed and paul said stand right on your feet and he stood and he began to walk no prayer no binding the devil or the spirit of stroke or the spirit of paralysis or the spirit, no that, she he had faith to be healed when he had so faith come by hearing every attack on our hearing in life bible church be destroyed in the name of jesus every powers of satan powers of the devil that attack our hearing in life bible church be destroyed in the name of jesus all the witchcraft attack over every member of life bible church be destroyed in the name of jesus you hear it and the faith come into your life no power can hold you down no demon from the pit of hell we are going to rise up now i won't be at this level no one taught me how to manifest personal faith. It does end here. Go and acquire materials. Faith come by hearing. Amen. Faith come by hearing. Hearing, be a hearer. Of course, not only faith. Righteousness come by hearing. Salvation come by hearing. Sanctification come by hearing. Every good thing come by hearing. That's why there are things you don't hear. Don't listen to gossip. You don't need it. Don't listen to the story of the devil. They said somebody who, he has just uh, confessed that he's the child of the devil. He's the, he's the wife of the devil. You don't need the, child, the wife of the devil. You don't, you don't need to hear what the devil can do. Calvary have said to the devil, he have removed his power. That is the testimony some people want. They will go and invite somebody who will be a, a wife of, he said he's the wife of the devil. How many wives does the devil even have? I've been hearing that over the years. Wife of the devil, wife of the devil. <laughs> do you know what? Well, let's stop that. Let's, let's, let's even leave that. You don't even need it. All that I need is this. God has given him a name that is above every name. That are the name of Jesus. Every knee should bow of the things in heaven, of the things on earth, and of the things in hell. So tonight, just go and say, Lord, I believe. That's your prayer. Listen. You remember that man? He told Jesus, he said, help thou my unbelief. He said, Lord, I believe. And you make up your mind tonight, begin to read faith books. All Wiggles work collection, go and buy them. You can go all online. Smith Wigglesworth, Fred Price. These are great heroes of faith. Buy their books, read. They listen to tapes, especially the one we give you here. Some of you that put uh, earpiece. If I cut you on the way, I want to know what you are hearing. And what are they hearing? Adaba. And you wonder why you are not winning. 
Adaba. They know every news. They know Adaba. They know Orange. They know every radio. They know everything. They know when they want to do a press, a press release. Father, thank you for tonight. I release the spirit of faith upon everyone here tonight in Jesus' name. Receive the spirit of faith. Receive the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus. From tonight, I decree that the audacity of faith will impregnate your life in Jesus' name. Face to lock out the devil that will not have access upon, unto your children, to your family, to your business. Receive it in Jesus' name. Faith will rise against the devil. To say the devil, you cannot touch me. I am untouchable. You cannot handle me. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Every attack over your faith life, I command the attack Crash now in the name of Jesus. Every power that holds on your faith. And you cannot manifest simple faith. Be destroyed in Jesus name. Everything that is threatening your life. Threatening your faith. Harassing your faith. He said I am sickness. He said I am a high blood prayer. Be destroyed in Jesus name. From today. You'll be a witch killer a witch killer wherever you are the glory of God radiates around you a woman you are looking for a child receive it now in Jesus name whatever may be the complication I dissolve it now I remove it in Jesus name receive your baby now in the name of Jesus thank you father Whatever anything you bring as a burden tonight, I cancel it. If you are sick in your body, be healed in Jesus' name. Everyone attack on, on finance, I break the powers over your life in Jesus' name. 